Hi guys! In this video I want to share highlights of our little 4-day visit to Morocco. We decided to start from Rabat, capital of Morocco, as it was the cheapest flight from London. Actually, many people usually underrate visiting Rabat and it's often missed out from travel itineraries. Our favorite place there is Kasbah of Odayas. It's like a separate fortified town and inside of it you can find small pretty boutique shops, cafes and a beautiful garden. We probably spent an hour or two just wandering around, exploring a charm of unique design doors and narrow alleys with blue and white painted walls. Like most other Moroccan cities, Rabat has a maze-like Medina, or old town in other words. However, unlike Marrakesh, about which I'm gonna talk a bit later in this video, the prices are likely to be fixed, and it means less hustle bargaining over the price. And if you step back from tourist attractions, prices are surprisingly and comparingly low, since only locals shop there. Can you believe we had these huge indulgent pieces of cake for just 8 dirham? No joke, it's only about 60 pence. Continuing to discover Rabat, the coastal road led us to the beach, with a stunning view over the Atlantic Ocean. Wind wasn't very strong, but waves were powerful and yet it was so relaxing to feel a small bit of nature after visiting busy city. After a day in Rabat, we headed to the most famous tourist destination in all of Morocco, Marrakesh. As we arrived, it was already evening, so the first thing we did was to find a guest house we booked for the night. These guest houses, known as Riyads, basically are old renovated mansions centered in patio. On the outside, houses are humble and located on narrow alleyways, but Behind their doors you will see whole different world. Pretty much all of them are located in Medina. Medina is the place where to get lost and confused is inescapable. It's literally a maze with narrow labyrinth of alleys and oriental souks. Medina is noisy with lots of hustle, but still charming and mysterious. It's full with history and culture, and being there feels like stepping back in time. Some still sells everything starting from lamb's leg and ending with beach bags. But even if you're not up to buying something, it's an unforgettable experience. Next day we left Medina to visit Majoral Garden. This garden is a beautiful little oasis in the middle of chaotic city. Collections of cacti, exotic plants and trees are well landscaped to emphasize each other's unique beauty. No surprise, it's the most visited place in Morocco. The story behind the garden begins with French artist, amateur botanist, unsurprisingly named Jack Majorel. It's almost cliché to hear about French artist who fell in love with Morocco, so he decided to create a fabulous garden containing plants from all over the world. But unfortunately, when it was finished, artist had to face some hard time in his life, and as a result, garden was about to be sold, demolished and rebuilt into hotel. Luckily for us, it didn't happen. The Madrigal Garden was saved by famous fashion designer Yves Saint Laurent, who bought the place, rescuing it from its unlucky fate, so we can enjoy it in full glory today. In summary, Morocco took a piece of our hearts. This was the first time we visited North Africa or Arabian country, so this trip was full of new experiences. Have you been to Morocco? What would you like to experience? Share your thoughts and let me know what you think. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future videos. And remember, if you want to get notifications, you must click on the little bell just next to subscribe button. See you guys next time. Bye!